All right, hello, my name is John Hassan, johnhassan.com, and I'm going to be talking about uh, keyword tracking, how it works. Man, and my hair is a mess again. My face looks pretty bad too. Boy, it's been, it's been a week, and the lighting is horrible, so I have these huge shadows right here, right here, and here, and here. I'm not normally this scary looking. But anyways, keyword tracking. Essentially, what keyword tracking is, is let's say you have an ad campaign or pay-per-click campaign on Google, or Yahoo or MSN. I'm going to focus on those three, although uh, some of the others are also adding key tracking or have some sort of key tracking in there as well. Whenever there's an ad, here's the web page. The user does. I got to use a bigger because this is going to be on YouTube and it'll be really tiny on YouTube. So here's our web page. They go to Google. They search the ad. Show up over here. Now you your your ad is right here. Let's say it's right there. And so when the user clicks on this ad, the web browser or Google has has a special URL because it doesn't go it doesn't go straight to your website. It goes to Google systems first. And then once it goes to Google systems, it stores a special well there's a cookie. There's a cookie on the on the user's web browser for Google's um, set of servers. And so a cookie, i make a chocolate chip cookie, a, chocolate, a cookie gets placed on the user's browser and that user's browser then gets sent to your web page. And your web page has something makes them happy that they want. And let's say there's, they go here and then they're, and then once they do whatever action you want them to do, they go to another web page, right? And this web page is your thank you page. Thank you. Now, this thank you page has something has a little bit of a snippet of code. It's usually some, some JavaScript or an image or, or something like that. And that snippet of code is typically hidden or not very visible to the end user. Like it'll be a really tiny thing in using MSN ad tracking or something like that, but the user really doesn't notice it. But it's there on the page, and what happens is when this page loads in the user's browser, this tiny snippet of code calls Google servers. These, remember when they clicked on the ad here, it, it went to Google servers there, and Google servers put a cookie on their browser. Now, when they go to this page, this little snippet of code right here also sends them to Google server. And when it goes there, it also sends along the little cookie. So Google says, ah, I got my cookie back. And it takes the cookie and it compares it with it. It looks at this cookie and it compares it with information it has in its, it has in its database of who clicked on the ad, who put the cookie, who did, who, I give, who did I give that cookie to before? And now they're, and now they're coming back. And so that's how it knows that uh, a particular keyword in your campaign created a conversion. That's, all the, that's essentially how the keyword tracking works. And here's the cool thing about that is now you can go into Google or Yahoo or MSN and when you can look at reports and you can actually see this keyword. Uh, I had... 10 clicks and I had one conversion. The conversion column right here, the imaginary conversion column, is the one that is populated by this whole cookie tracking system. And that's essentially how the keyword tracking works. Now if you're wondering how in the world do I set up keyword tracking? Well on Google and Yahoo and MSN they both have, I believe it's called conversion tracking and it's stored in different places on each of the search engines. And every single one of them gives you a little bit, a little tiny snippet of code. And there's a couple of options. You can actually say um, a conversion is worth this much to me, or you can say um, just track the conversions. Don't track how much each one is worth. And there's a couple of different options. When you go in there, you'll actually see all the different choices. But they all work essentially the exact same way. I believe that's it. Um, as far as how to put them on your web page or where to put them on your web page, uh, you really want to put them at the point where you make money. 
So let's say this is a mortgage form. So they go here and they fill out a, a quote for mortgages. Now remember, you're, you're already doing the whole white label thing that I talked about beforehand, right? You're not. <laughs> and so then when they fill this out, you send them to your, to your thank you page. And then from there, you're good to go. Um, I really don't know that there's much more I can say about this. Unless, I mean, if, if there's a specific question, I can answer it. But I'm just trying to just give a quick overview of how it works. Bye-bye.